this video the only three vitamins you need to beat CKD and why they are vitamin D, vitamin B12, and folate. Catherine here, I'm a doctor of natural medicine and I've dedicated my entire career to helping patients with kidney disease. But here is the thing, 8 out of 10 CKD patients are supplementing vitamins completely wrong and it's not even their fault. I'm saying this because over the last few years, I've spent more hours researching vitamin supplements for CKD than most people spending binge watching Netflix. I've made countless YouTube videos about vitamins. I've recommended countless vitamin supplements to kidney disease patients. And just because I'm extra, I even created what I confidentially call the best multivitamin for CKD patients on the market. Rena Best. But no worries, this video isn't a shameless plug about my supplement because what's even more fascinating about vitamins is that I have personally forbidden a huge number of patients from taking certain vitamins. Yeah, you heard me right, I'm probably the only naturopath on the planet who forbids more supplements than I actually prescribe. If there was an award for most supplement banned by a supplement expert, I'd have to build an extra shelf for my trophies. <laughs> because here's the thing, if you for instance decided to spend a couple of hours analyzing the labels of the most common multivitamins for CKD patients, you'll uncover something pretty incredible. Every single company puts exactly Exactly the same amount of vitamin C in their renal multivitamin 60 milligrams it's like we all secretly got together and said it's not 50 milligrams it's not 70 milligrams it's exactly 60 milligrams and you see there is actually a reason why you don't want any more than that everyone is also putting the same amount of folate in their renal multivitamin 800 micrograms and the reason for that a Chinese study. I'm not even kidding. And you also won't find any vitamin A in a renal multivitamin. Oh, yeah, vitamin A in your supplements shall be as scarce as honest politicians are. That's why today I'm going to tell you exactly which vitamins you absolutely need to supplement and which you absolutely must avoid, like your in-laws at the Christmas party. Because more is better might work great for pizza toppings, but trust me, your kidneys won't thank you for a vitamin mega dose. So before we dive in, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Double Kini for all the latest vitamin facts and of course questionable humor. Okay guys, let's start immediately with the most important vitamin, vitamin D, the kidney vitamin. Like I said earlier, everyone with CKD absolutely needs to supplement three vitamins and vitamin D is right there at the top of the list. So here is the thing with vitamin D. Supplementing it blindly is like trying to fix a car engine with a paper clip. Sure, you might feel busy, but you're not going anywhere good. What I strongly recommend here is a measure twice, cut once kind of approach. Less guessing, more science, alright? Let me explain. When it comes to vitamin D, statistics say that 80% of CKD patients has vitamin D deficiency. Let me repeat that because apparently repetition is the only way some people get the message. 8 out of every 10 kidney patients don't have enough vitamin D, alright? What that means is that if it's not you, it's everyone else with CKD you've ever met. And that's a problem because vitamin D deficiency is linked to uncontrollable blood pressure, brittle bones, dental decay, higher proteinuria, and your kidney function spiraling down faster than your optimism when you check your credit card statement after the holidays. Now, I already know what you're thinking. Great, Catherine, just tell me to swallow an entire bottle of vitamin D and call it a day. But here's the thing, guys. Popping pills without a proper plan is exactly how you turn your kidneys into a sketchy high school chemistry experiment. And trust me, you don't want to play Walter White with your kidneys. Vitamin D may accumulate and become toxic for your kidneys. Seriously, guys, don't take high-dose vitamin D supplement unless ordered by your doctor. So, here's the right way to handle vitamin D. Supplement with a sensible low dose of around 25 micrograms per day or whatever your healthcare provider suggests. More importantly, get your 25 hydroxy vitamin D levels checked 
regularly and please please make sure someone actually looks at those test results because yeah getting blood tests done and then having no one look at the results is like buying lottery tickets every week but never checking if you won except with lottery tickets you're only throwing away cash with forgotten lab reports you're throwing away cash and shaving years of your life expectancy i mean who doesn't love a lose-lose situation right so in short even if you are taking a renal multivitamin get tested for vitamin d levels that's more important than most people realize so now the question is why do you need a renal multivitamin at all well here is the thing having any of the vitamin deficiencies we'll discuss today means your kidney function will decline faster than your willpower at an all you can eat pizza buffet yep vitamin deficiencies are that bad not to mention several of your lab tests will be so out of whack that your doctor might skip the good morning and go straight to let's talk dialysis schedules before even checking if you just needed a vitamin so yeah don't take that risk now here's the hilarious part renal multivitamins are actually pretty hard to find yes and that's funny because if you ask most people in the general public you know your weird neighbor that gym bro who thinks creatine is a food group they all have a favorite brand of multivitamin and yet the vast majority of the general population needs a multivitamin as much as they need an unsolicited group text from their in-laws seriously for nine out of ten people in the general population the only noticeable difference they see after starting a multivitamin is their pee turning a fluorescent shade of radioactive lemon and yeah the multivitamin market is worth billions on the other hand people with ckd really do need a multivitamin yeah ckd can play some tricks on your body and you can't even use your regular centrum or superdin no you need a specifically formulated multivitamin that's safe for people with kidney disease a renal multivitamin but guess what these renal specific multivitamins are harder to find than a polite comment section on youtube see the problem here so in a nutshell if your biggest health concern is that your pee doesn't smell expensive enough you've got more options than a netflix queue but if you actually need a multivitamin because your kidneys are fading it's less like finding a needle in the high stack and more like finding a specific ethically sourced gluten-free needle in a high stack factory i mean what a funny world we live in right but hey at least you are getting informed and you will be able to solve this issue for yourself anyway here is the thing one of the reasons why you may need a renal multivitamin is because you are following a plant-based diet and why is that you ask i mean shouldn't you get more vitamins if you eat more plants yes with one exception vitamin b12 so let's see why this vitamin is so important now if vitamin d is a measure twice cut once kind of situation with vitamin b12 you can relax a bit i mean unless you have anemia so question why is vitamin b12 one of the three most important vitamins for your kidney health vitamin b12 has several functions in the body it helps converting food into energy it helps regulate homocysteine levels it helps with nerve function and it contributes to health hair skin and nails but the reason why supplementing vitamin b12 is crucial for your kidneys is its part in the formation of red blood cells here's the thing without enough vitamin b12 your body can't possibly make hemoglobin and that's a condition called anemia if that happens you are going to feel extremely unwell anemia doesn't just damage your kidneys it also makes you feel so tired that you need a nap just to prepare for your actual nap you're permanently stuck in that monday morning feeling except it's every day and coffee just laughs at you now vitamin b12 deficiency is not the most common cause for anemia but it's the most easily preventable one you just need a renal multivitamin with some b12 in it and you are safe heck you could probably even take one of those comically overdosed b vitamin supplements you see in supplement stores and call it a day 
not that I recommend it, but multivitamins made for CKD patients are hard to find in certain countries and supplementing too much B vitamins is better than not supplementing at all. This is especially important if you are following a plant-based diet, all right? Actually, any vegan and anyone not eating animal-based foods should be supplementing vitamin B12. The reason, no plant-based food contains enough vitamin B12 for you to be healthy. And that's why you will need a supplement, all right? So now you may ask, my doctor got me tested for vitamin B12 levels. Why is that if you say we can just supplement as much we want? Well, here's the thing with vitamin B12. While it's true that getting too much of it is rarely an issue, many people are deficient in this vitamin. So yeah, it's not a bad idea to get a test done every once in a while. And the way to read these tests is simple. If vitamin B12 is too low, supplement in high dose. If it's normal or too high, don't do anything. Yeah, so it's nothing like vitamin D, which if it's too high, you need to run to the nearest ER. But still, I don't recommend overdosing on vitamin B12, even if it's safe. Actually, if you have access to renal multivitamins, well, that's the safest route. You'll get all the vitamin B12 you need and nothing in excess. Sounds great, right? However, there is only one problem with all the renal multivitamin supplements you can find on the market. For some reason, they are all using the wrong form of B12, cyanocobalamin. Now, when it comes to B12, cyanocobalamin is not the natural form. It's a cheaper synthetic version of vitamin B12 made in a lab from bacteria. It also contains a molecule of cyanide which is cleared by the kidneys, which is not ideal, I would say. That's why in Rina Best, I've used the natural form of this vitamin, methylcobalamin. Methylcobalamin is better than cyanocobalamin in many ways. It's more readily absorbed by the body. It has benefits for people with diabetic neuropathy that cyanocobalamin doesn't have, and it doesn't have any cyanide in it. So yeah, any renal multivitamin will help, but if you want a renal multivitamin with methylcobalamin, the natural form of B12, you want Rena Best. Okay guys, let's talk about a vitamin you can get in the same dose and form from any renal multivitamin in the market. This one vitamin is crucial for hemoglobin production, just like vitamin B12, and it's also used by the body to reduce homocysteine levels, again, like vitamin B12. One difference this vitamin has from vitamin B12 is that its supplementation has been linked to a whooping 44% slowdown in kidney disease progression. And I mean, who doesn't love the idea of their kidney disease slowing down? Unless you're just weirdly attached to dialysis centers and hospital visits. And the superstar vitamin I'm talking about here is folate, of course. So folate is key in preventing anemia from folate deficiency and hyperhomocysteinemia. And as you probably figured out by now, anything ending with emia is medical jargon for brace yourself, things are about to get unpleasant. Yeah. Exactly like that. This is precisely why folate makes it into my top vitamins to supplement for kidney health. Seriously, if there was an Oscar ceremony for vitamins, folate will win best supporting vitamin in a CKD drama. Now, if you want to get some extra folate in your life and you totally should, if you are taking lisinopril or another ACE inhibitor, you can get it from any renal multivitamin. I mean, if you can get any of them. As I was saying, they are not always easy to find. But there are several brands and all of them have put the same amount of folate in their renal multivitamin, 800 micrograms. So here's a fun fact about renal multivitamins. Everyone is using the same amount of folate in their multivitamin. And why is that? Because of this one study from China. In this study, done on 1,500 and 104 participants, it was observed that when someone on enalipril, a common ACE inhibitor, was given 800 micrograms of folate per day, their kidney function decline was much slower compared to the ACE inhibitor alone, a whooping 44% slower. 
And I mean, some vitamin manufacturers love that study so much, they probably have it framed in their offices. Not me, I only have pictures of my cats in my office. Anyway, I understand perfectly that this could be easily considered the single most boring fact on earth for 99% of people. But for a vitamin nerd like me, finding out why every brand was putting in the same amount of folate was like literally discovering the meaning of life. Except instead of changing history, I just want the ability to bore people to tears at social gatherings while they slowly back away towards the exit. So there you have it. These are the three most important vitamins for kidney disease. Now you know why they are so important. Anyway, let's talk about the other vitamins because shocking revelation, there are more than just three vitamins. So the question is, do we need three vitamins or do we need more? Well, if you look at the label of my multivitamin, you will probably see that it doesn't just contain three vitamins. It contains many more and it also has some minerals and some antioxidants. So yeah, you probably already know the answer to this question. Vitamin B6, for instance, is usually running low in CKD patients and it's essential for your immune and nervous system. Two things you might find useful, vitamin B2, riboflavin, is your ally in fighting headaches and boosting immunity because kidney disease isn't stressful enough already, alright? Vitamin B3 or niacin takes on cholesterol, B5 bottles stress, and B7 is great for managing blood sugar, and vitamin B1? Well, B1 is crucial for energy production and it's also needed by your nervous system to work properly. And according to a study, Taking B1 in high doses can protect the kidneys of people with diabetes from damage. We also have vitamin K2 which is useful to make sure the body actually uses vitamin D the right way to put calcium in your bones and not in your arteries. But you can find this in any renal multivitamin on the market, I mean except for vitamin K2 for some reason. Something else you will only find in my renal multivitamin are kidney protecting antioxidants such as CoQ10 for example. And here's the thing, research has strongly linked antioxidants to improved kidney function. When it comes to antioxidants, it's not about mega dosing one thing, it's about variety. Think about it, in nature you don't get 400 IU of vitamin E from a single food. What you get is small doses of many different antioxidants working together. And that's what your body wants, many different antioxidants in a single convenient package. But for some reasons nobody ever thought about putting antioxidants in our renal multivitamin. Which is strange if you think about it, since many antioxidants are vitamins, such as vitamin E for example. That's why I put in here some powerful tocopherols, the natural form of vitamin E, but in low doses. Then there is CoQ10, one of the most powerful antioxidants. This powerful antioxidant is like a bodyguard for your kidneys, shielding them from oxidative stress and cellular breakdown. But most people only take it from a standalone supplement or don't take it at all. And yet CoQ10 is amazing. It can really make a difference, especially if you take it with selenium. Then there is zinc, another powerful antioxidant. Zinc has been directly linked to delaying the progression of chronic kidney disease. So yeah, let's just say that I made this supplement thinking about my patients and my viewers first because when their kidneys are happy, I'm happy and I sleep like a baby. Well, a baby who formulates renal vitamins instead of crying all night. And guys, if you want to know more about how to use antioxidants to improve your kidney health, my video up here is for you and this is all for today. Thank you for watching. God bless you all. Bye-bye.